Okay, um, is my mic working? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so I'm just going to go through lining. Um, I just have a pretty simple hair mellow here. Alright, so there's a couple different ways you can line. Um, what I usually do is um, I make the, oops, make the outside lines pretty thin and, well, pretty thick and the inside lines a lot thinner. So I'll just do that right now. Um, you can turn on stabilizer if you want. S3 is usually a pretty good way to go, but since I'm working on a pretty big canvas, I don't really need the stabilizer as much. Um, my mic volume's alright, right? So what I do first is I just take a pretty thick brush. And I go um, around the edges of the lines. Oh, this is a little too thick though. Yeah, these can be a little bit shaky because, like, once you zoom out, it's a, oh wow, those are thick though. So let me just start over. Um, but yeah, it's okay if these lines are a little bit shaky because, really, you can't tell once you zoom out. The thing about lines is that it's kind of, it, for me, it's like the most annoying part because, I don't know, I never think lines themselves look that pretty, so once I have them done, I just like, ugh, this design is not going to turn out well, but, um, usually once you get the shading and stuff in, it looks a lot better, so that's that. Usually I just like line the borders like this so I can um, just fill it in using the bucket tool later. It's a lot easier to color th than to actually just color with the brush tool. So here we have the basic line art. As you can see it looks kind of shoddy but um, it'll look better in a sec. So what I usually do is take a smaller brush and just make some details. Um, like, what I like to do is, I guess it's a personal thing, but stagger the widths of the hair. Because if you make them all kind of the same, it looks a little bit, I don't know, I just don't like the look. 
Looks a little more synthetic, I guess. Plastic, maybe? If you get what I mean. Shading. We gotta get the lining done, then we'll move on to the shading. Let me just... Man, when I show you, just gonna be... Med is just a big fat liar. This is so easy. I got you guys don't like think terribly of me afterwards. Yeah, you go and you make the thinner line. Yeah, like I said, stagger the width so it doesn't look like plastic or whatever, I guess. And just do that. Ooh, I don't like this edge here. Let me fix that. Um, okay. And then what you can do is... Let me zoom out and see. So what you can do is just add a little um, more detail into there. Like, this ridge is kind of ugly, so I'm just going to fix that. This back hair should flow. Um, and then, yeah, I usually make a new layer, you don't have to. But, um, like, the bits over here where everything, kind where the corners tend to meet, if you make those parts thicker, it looks a little better. Oh, once you zoom out, but, um, I don't know, I just like how it looks. Just like the origin points, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what they're called, but I like to thicken them up. No, maybe I should just casually leave the chat window open. There we go. Oh, yeah, just like go in and add some like varying line weights. It's really important to add varying line weights because if everything's done and like if all the line line width for the hair is the same, it just looks bad. Like that from what I've experienced at least, it just turns out pretty so savvy if you don't stagger the line width. Okay, well, I like it later, I'll just come back and fix it, that's no big. So, with that in second lining over the shading, which is pretty fun. I'm just hiding that folder in case I need the separation later, but, um, delete the sketch, what is it? I don't know what it is, I'm deleting it. Okay, um, so, a to color in the lens is just like that and then see where I like um filled in the that helps later because I can just oh this the side uh, yeah I really have photoshop because windows um yeah you just magic wand that line layer and and then Okay, does it the sound weird for it or yeah but magic wand is and then hang on let me see is it, is it a little better now hey okay, mike mike please help. dang i'm cutting 
in and out. Okay, uh, I had to talk louder and move the mic closer. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, and then you just delete, and bam, you have a nice bass. Okay, and then, awesome, sound is working. I know, I, I like working with um, more neutral, I guess. I don't know what they're called, but like more neutral hues when I do the bass. So just color that brown and then clipping group, multiply, and then, hmm, how should I shade this? Like, should I, should I make it softer or, um, because here, let me, okay, I'll do something kind of weird first because that's what I've been doing lately. But, um, I have a, like, what I'm using right now is just a crayon-ish brush, I think. Make it shiny. Oh, yeah, okay. Oops. Let me just do a little more line at first then. Actually, I have one other thing I need to work on. One other sketch I have, so I guess I can show you guys that too since I don't want to just do it. Oops, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Um, so here we will line something a little more complex. By a little more complex, I really... Yeah. Like, I actually really like how this sketch turned out. Let's see if I can line it nicely. So first, gotta do the big part, which is the hood. And then... For this one... What I'll do again is to, I'll just make the, like, outside lines way thicker than ones. Because it just, I don't know, I've always just liked that look, I guess. Um, just. Uh, oh, I'll just clipping mask that later. Um. Like, I feel that these inside lines are a little too thick, so I'm just going to thin them out a bit. Oh, and by the way, if you guys have, like, questions or anything as I go, feel free to ask, because I'm probably not covering as much as I should. Usually what I do is I have this routine. I like sacrifice six ghosts to arcane gods every other week it helps. Yeah, like really just stencil the outside first. Uh, I'm using a tablet. Um, I have this cheapo mono price tablet. It was like... Yeah, see, sacrificing a kitten to the war god seems cool too, but I don't have that many kittens around. Goats for me. Okay, so I have the outside outlined. It looks pretty ugly, but this is where we work our magic. Oh, this is a, yeah, like I said, this is a mono price tablet. You can get them from pretty cheap. Like, I've used bamboos before, like, I borrowed Desu's, but um, I like this better. I don't know. Obviously, you're worshipping the wrong war gods. But yeah, um, the parts that aren't the outside use like a slightly thinner brush. Uh, hi. Let me just... Oops. Okay, that's way too thick. Okay. So, 
now we take an even thinner brush and then just go in there like I don't know for my general rule of thumb is the for the more outside the lines are the thicker the brush so the lines on the very outside I make it thicker and then the details in are thinner I don't know like it really helps if I just stencil the outside first because that way I don't forget Mm, let me make the sketch weaker. It's kind of, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, these videos will be watchable. <coughs> Mellows have kind of awkward chess for me. I've never known how to work them, but let's just make do pretend. Okay, and yeah, like I said, use a thin brush for the wrinkles. Like, I, I don't know, my style's been really angular lately, so just making the folds kind of sharp, but that's not necessary. Ugh. Folds are hard, guys. Like, the my rule of thumb for folds is just draw and then get rid of it until you find one that looks less bad than the rest. And yeah, folds just like tend to look better for me when the lines are thinner. I guess it might be different for other people, but that's just my thing, really. Um, the, hmm, I don't know if I like this line here. Oh, it's okay. But yeah, like... Don't really, I wouldn't worry too much if my line art looks not that great because, like I said, once you go in with the shading, everything looks a lot cooler. Uh, let me just touch up the line art. Like, I feel. Like, I, where the lines merge, I just like to make those thicker. I think it's because I read a lot of comic books and they do that a lot. Thank you. Okay, oh, I should add some folds here. Maybe, would that be weird? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't know, to get clean eyeliner, like what I found is you just make the lines really bold and like angular I guess uh, but yeah just like adding these little like things these little line things it looks cool IMO oh no I used an acronym in real life Um, yeah, I'll add a fold here. <laughs> yeah, having sound on might be helpful, maybe. Yes, there will be audio with the recording. Okay, so that's done. Wow, those came out thick. Oh, well. Let me just name that hair. Yeah, there's sound. Um, oh, wow, what is this layer? Mystery layer. Delete. Okay. 
Okay, claws. Claws are pretty self-explanatory. You just line those. It's really like hair and clue. Like, honestly though, if your hair looks good, the rest of the design will look good because nobody's gonna look closer than that. Shh, don't tell anyone I told you that, but that's like how it works. Like, how to AWAS, draw good hair, ignore all else. But don't ignore all else. Because, you know, integrity, I guess. Stuff like that, you know. Uh, claws look good enough. Honestly, I'm just using, like, a normal black brush. I usually use thicker ones so I can vary the pressures more, though. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all recorded. Let me just move that to a... Yeah, it's just a pencil tool, like, it's just a- No, don't, like, ask all the questions, please. I don't know what else to talk about, okay. Yeah, it's just, like, a normal black brush. I'm- Yeah, I like thick lines, so, yeah, I'm on, like, eight, which is kind of ridiculous, but... Okay, and then, yeah, accessories, pretty easy, just line them. If you stagger the line thickness, it looks a little cooler, but really there's not much like earrings. They're so small that they're not, it's not going to kill you if you like make them kind of messy. This is 400 by 400. Oop, I don't like how that looks. Let me just... Yeah, like an 8 pixel brush. Like, honestly though, unless you... Like, you're probably gonna do fine with like a 3 pixel brush. I'm just kind of weird. I like thick brushes. And then, wings of, like, pro tip guys, don't do wings, they're such a problem, they're hard. Yeah, the thick and thin is really nice, so working, yeah, like, the nice thing about working with the thick brush is that you can stagger the widths. Then, now we just draw the inside hair. Which is just flowy, I guess. Like, my advice for hair is just to use, like, strokes. Like, don't, don't be like, uh, slow, gotta do it right. Just, like, kind of make it, because hair is so swoopy that, like, swoopy movements work best for, especially, well, for, like, straight hair. I guess if you're drawing, like, curly hair, maybe, but, yeah. Man, I don't even do curls. They're li they're like, they're just not. I feel like they're not worth all the hassle. Yeah, curls are pain. Curls are suffering, but yeah. You know, I have yet to use that enhancement thing. Because, like, I do my designs on 400 by 400, but then I re-shrink them to color them, so. Okay, so, yeah. Like, I usually do outside lines thicker than the in And then... Yeah, I just really like bold outside lines because they help the edits pop from the design. Like if I guess if you want something a little more less 
obnoxious, thinner line would probably be better, but you know, I've always had a penchant for obnoxious things. And then take a thinner brush and then do details. Like I said earlier, just you wanna stagger the um hair width. Like if you just make all of them the same width, it just doesn't look as flowy. Yeah, I'm like not the best at coloring, so it just helps when it's smaller for me. Uh, thank you. Psst. Okay, I don't like this. This like side hair doesn't look good. Let me redo that. Oh, and then when we get to shading, the inside lines help a lot, but that's for later. You know, I don't know if you guys remember her, but this is actually, the inside lines are something I kind of stole from um, Snugs. Snugs at number 109, I think. But yeah. Um, I usually just try to keep the inside lines on the... Yeah, I used to do that too, but, like, actually, if you, like, color the inside lines and, um... And then... And also add shading, I feel like it looks pretty cool. I'm just going in and adding some little details to the lines. Oh no, am I becoming mainstream? But yeah, like, I don't know. I've done so much experimenting with, like, just hair mellows. Just a lot of fun to try different things. Especially because usually someone will want to buy the weird experiment anyway, so it all works out. Yeah, being mainstream is too mainstream, true. Okay. Hello there, person. But yeah, just like going into the corner and adding line width it's so much fun it's so easy and i just really like the look face auto correct Again, eyes just like swoopy, it's nice. Just do quick swoopy lines with eyes because I don't know. Well, that's what I do. Darker just looks nice. Yeah, I don't speak when I join me either. Just kind of, it's like probably first time I, I was outside of my scav team has heard my voice. Derp. Usually people will like 
line their li eyes all the way like that, but I don't know. I haven't been doing that lately. It just hasn't felt that necessary. It's a stylistic choice, though. <laughs> the eyes are just... Okay. And then lashes, no lashes, thoughts. Yeah, getting eyes to match is like the hardest thing. This thing is kind of uneven too, but yeah. Lashes, okay. Uh, lashes are like really fun. What you do is like uh, just triangles, thick triangles. Sharp. Again, like my lashes are really still is stylistic. Other people do them a lot like smoother than me, but this is just how I do it. It's okay, we can take off the lashes. Z, C, C. Everyone can be happy. Let me just draw these first. Yeah, lashes are a separate layer. Glam rock mellow. Okay, well, you got, ooh, lashes are not pointy enough. Like, my rule of thumb for lashes is do them so they can kill a man. Make them pointy. Anyway, regardless of boy, girl, lashes, no lashes, you can take the lashes off, so that's no big. Okay. Boy angels aren't girls. That's, yep. See, now they look like they can kill a man, right? Or a woman, we're very gender equal here. We can kill a human, any human, regardless of gender, I guess. Um, and then... Okay. Casually hides lashes to do mouth. Mm, okay, mouth needs a thinner brush. But mouth can be messy too, just because it's so tiny that you won't really be able to. One buck tooth? I don't know. I always like pointy top teeth. I always thought that was like super cute. But really, no one will see your mouth details at the end. It's like the sad fact of mellow designing. Is that one pointy incisor enough for you guys? Okay. I'll probably release this as a free PSD. Should I make it Christmassy? So, you know, like, are orange crystals still cheaper than, like, Christmas crystals or whatever? I'm gonna hide that for a sec. Man. Like, my tip for wings is don't do wings. And then I break that tip, but. Whoa. I'm just getting feasty in the chat box.
it for wings. Like, I try not to sweat the anatomy because I don't know anything about wing anatomy, but I like drawing them anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, but if arachnids had wings, they could, like, fly around. That's scary. Wings are hard, guys. Don't do wings. Unless you know about wings. I don't know about wings, so wings are hard. Like, sad for... Thank you, but, like, I have no idea what I'm doing, so... Okay, good enough. Pretend they're wings. Yeah, but I figure it's like an a cute, stubby, mellow design with hair. I feel like if I make the wings a little less anatomically realistic, it won't kill me, you know? I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go back and thicken up certain lines so it's a little less messy. Flying lobsters. Man, I wish I could draw lobsters, and I would draw you all a flying lobster. Unfortunately, I can't. I apologize. <laughs> oh, yes, this is Medstream. Yeah, if you hear, like, a grumpy Asian dude grumbling in the background it's my dad he's playing that new blizzard card game and he's mad because he's losing her stone i think it's called yeah he's just like playing it on his laptop apparently he got one of his students to get him a beta key so he's just like been doing that I don't know, apparently beta keys are like easier to get right now than they were earlier though. Dude, Pokemon X is like legitimately the best Pokemon game out so far. I don't know, it's like they looked at the old Pokemon games and thought, you know what, these are getting a little bit repetitive, what can we do to make this one a new experience? And it was so good. Oh wow, they have DS game sales at Kmart, I might have to check it out. Yes, yeah, sound is good. Oh, nice. Man, I have actually never played WoW. I totally, like, was really into League of Legends last summer, though. Okay, oh, okay. These lines look done. So I'm going to close this for a second and then save it and then I'm going to restart as a 
um, I'm going to restart the lesson so I can start um, the shading. So see you in like 10 seconds.